let's continue with double integrals with the emphasis being on the polar version of the double integral. So for this problem, we're going to both look at the region of integration, which is determined by these values. And then also uh, we'll evaluate the integral just to um, exercise some calculus muscles a little bit. Some of those traditional muscles. So let's sketch the region. Theta is from zero to pi. So that means in our graph that we're going to look at, we're going to be looking at this image. It's going to, going to go from here to here, from 0 to pi in our traditional orientation. R goes from 1. Let's just pause for a moment what that means. That's referring to a circle of radius one in the polar world. And out to R equals four, which is a circle of radius four in the polar world. But we're only looking at the part of the circles that go from here to here. So let's suppose this is a uh, semicircle of radius one. And that is a semicircle of radius four. And I like to think of uh, polar, um, any way you can prevent yourself from confusing left and right and up and down, because this does not measure left and right and up and down. It's like a sprinkler for your yard. We're gonna water the yard from one unit away to four units away. And the angle theta is going to be from 0 to pi. This is our region of integration. Outside of the small circle, inside of the big circle, but only the top half of the circle because theta dictates that. And then this right here is our third dimensional function. So there's your region. Now let's integrate. If we utilize a u substitution, u is 16 minus r squared, du is negative 2r dr, then when we evaluate this definite integral, and please recall there are operation brackets, parentheses here that dictate we're going to integrate that way first. 0 to pi still remains. We're going to have a coefficient of negative 1 half because of this u substitution. And we will be integrating. The square root will be Add 1 to the exponent to the 3 halves power, multiplied by 2 thirds. And then we're going to evaluate that from r equals 1 to r equals 4. And then later we will integrate with respect to theta. Half of 2 thirds is 1 third. Let's just do a little bit of cleanup here. 0 to pi, negative 1 third, 16 minus r squared to the 3 halves power. r goes from 1 to 4. If r is 4, this will be 16 minus 16 is 0. or zero to the three house power, which is still zero. Minus, if r is one, 16 minus one is 15 to the three house power with respect to theta. This becomes 
0 to pi 15 to the 3 halves power over 3 integrate with respect to theta. Without a calculator, I'm just going to leave this as it is. The antiderivative of that is going to be 15 to the 3 halves over 3 times theta, and theta goes from 0 to pi. And ultimately, I get 15 to the 3 halves power divided by 3 multiplied by pi. There's our antiderivative. And there was our region of integration. Not a bad little problem.